Hello everybody. As a uh, as a key worker, I, I've got to go back to work uh, within the next couple days. For reasons I can't really be fucked going into one here, um, I was required to isolate for a period of eight weeks. A period of eight weeks which has now come to an end. And because of my whole thing of videos being memories and because of you know, the fact that this platform exists in the first place, I just wanted to give my thoughts on this whole lockdown situation, uh, the whole coronavirus. Something like this is probably never going to happen ever again. So it's a very it's a very rare situation that we all find ourselves in. In some ways I feel I feel you know coronavirus is is, is brought us all together in a way. You know we had the uh, the the clapping for the NHS workers and uh, key workers, carers, or that sort of thing. We had the uh, the claps for those. Tonight marks the final clap for carers. Back in key workers started 10 weeks ago, and now with lockdown rules easing, it's coming to an end. It's very weird. It is a very, very weird scenario to be in. It doesn't feel as though I've I've been off of work for two months even though I have and you know even though it's a even though it's been a global pandemic you know people have been trying new things people have been uh, well they've been bored because they've been isolating so people have been doing things that they wouldn't normally do I, I've 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 tried baking a few things I've I've uh, I made a few cakes I made cookies look I made cookies and they're actually edible these ones fucking suck, but they were the first batch, but these ones... <laughs> and you know, in a normal scenario, you know, coming home from work, I'll be tired, I wouldn't want to do that sort of stuff, not even on my days off. And, obviously, not that I'm trying to lighten the whole thing up, like, oh, it's just a virus, no. I... I try to be an optimist. Uh, emphasis on try you know I'm not always great at it sometimes I do let the bad thoughts talk to me for the most part I, uh, I consider myself an optimist you know I'm always looking on the bright side of things I'm always seeing two sides of an argument as I said with the, with the clapping and everything it has brought us closer together it, it's it's made people a lot nicer it's made people um, you know care for each other <laughs> that might not be the right way to uh, word what I'm thinking but uh, I hope you, you get what I'm trying to say. It has been a very weird couple of months. It's been a very interesting couple of months. It's It's been... It's been a very boring couple of months, and it's been a very... very scary couple of months. It's been all of those things. Um, in some ways, we needed it. Um, in other ways... It, it, it's... In most ways, it's it's a real shame that it happened, but uh, you know, all those uh, all those deaths, um, all those people that you know sadly haven't haven't lived to tell the tale of the time they caught coronavirus. Point is, I'm going back to work. Going by what's happening uh, within the British government, the uh, lockdown procedures are easing a bit. Uh, so everything should be, quote-unquote, going back to normal. Uh, I use the quotes because, honestly, I'm not sure if anything will go 100% back to normal after this. I think everybody will be just a little bit a little bit more careful about everything. Uh, I, I think uh, you'll, uh, you'll see more people regularly washing their hands, let's put it that way. But that's enough from me. At the end of the day, I'm just one guy without a medical degree. What the fuck do I know? I might be chatting shit, I don't know. But I tried to make sense. And that's all that matters. So I'm going to be off. Thank you for watching. Make sure you're washing your hands, uh, staying safe, all that bollocks, and Black Lives Matter.